Alright, welcome back to Pokemon Silver. Now we're on episode 8. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go back into the cave and try to uh, get back to that uh, branching path area. We made it deep into the cave last episode, but I had to get out because time was a concern for me at the moment. I didn't have too much time to record an episode, so... But now I do. It's actually the very first time I'm recording on a Sunday. It usually doesn't work like this for me. Alright, we're just gonna finish this one off very easily with the water gun. It's like the only move I have that can really take take on these Geodudes, so... And they one-shot it, so... It all works out. But now we gotta go back to where we were, encountering more stuff on the way there, of course. You may have noticed that I have made no changes to my party because I actually kind of want to use all these guys for now. Oh, more encounters! I'm gonna be honest, I know- <coughs> oh. I know for a fact that experience share exists in this game, but I want to get it ASAP, man. Like, real And in case you didn't know, ASAP it means ASAP as soon as possible. Just in case you didn't know that. Level 10 for clockwork. Getting clockwork into the double digits. Alright. Yeah, I'm totally cutting out most of these battles. Wow. There's everywhere. I'm bored. Let's go for metronome. Ah, oh, my goodness. Could have gotten a super effective move out of that, Xander. Oh! Uh, G dude raised its defense. I don't think that that's probably why I didn't get a KO. Back to back bone clubs. At least, hey, Xander's getting super effective hits out of these metronomes. There it is! That's better. That's more like it. Yeah. Takes like five metronomes to take down a Pokemon, which is why it, it's annoying. Yeah, we have not gone this way because this trainer here. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Ah, oh, alright, I see what you're saying there. So, Pokemon in the dark is definitely not scary. <laughs> uh, you got another fire breather with a Vulpix. Okay, this makes more sense than the fire breather with the coughings. For sure. Oh, you know what? This is our first fire type, isn't it? So you know what that means? Jossum can actually have an advantage here. Ember. Couldn't do anything to me with your embers. Alright. Oh my goodness, you didn't get one shot by that. That's surprising. Ember's not gonna do much at all. See so ya yeah, there. No, that's a lot of experience. Huh. Looks like for a moment, experience went to like three Pokemon there, all of a sudden just seeing things. Oh my. Alright, I was interrupted by a phone call. Alright. Oh. Is this the way out? Route 33, alright. Oh, there's a tree here with a berry in it. It's a fruit bearing tree, it's got a poison cure berry, alright. Huh. Although there was an area in that cave that I probably want to check now that I'm... Huh. I'm gonna look in here again. Let's see, I'm gonna find that... <sighs> Can I just finish a sentence before I encounter... Oh. We don't have this Pokemon, do we? No, we don't. 
Alright. Huh, let's see. How am I gonna weaken this one? Thing is, I don't have a move that actually can do a neutral amount of damage. But I have something that's super effective. No, that's gonna one-shot it. Um, what about... Hmm, it's luck-based, but I'm gonna have to try this. I'm gonna use Metronome and see if I can weaken it. That tackle might hurt. Uh, not really, actually. You know, just so you can't hurt me. Oh, you missed. Wow. Let's charm it. That's a move I haven't used yet. So yeah, also something I do know, yeah, it says type normal here, I know charm is supposed to be a fairy type move in later games, also Togepi should be a fairy type as well, but that is not, that was not a type until Gen 6, so, they're just normal types here. Agility, that is not gonna work. That was a cool animation though, I'll give you, I'll give you props for the, the light show there. Mega Horn, that should be a neutral hit. Okay. Uh oh, it's lowering my defense. Hmm. Peck. <laughs> that is not gonna do anything at all. Alright, um. You know what? Let's not do that anymore. Let's try. What if we just scratch it with Jossum? Let's try that. Okay. Alright, we'll do this a uh, couple of times until it gets to like yellow or red. Alright. It's in red, so this is probably the best chance to throw a Pokeball at it. There we go. Ah! Oh, not, not quite. We got there, though. I'm thinking about throwing the Great Ball again. Or, or, sorry. I'm thinking about throwing the Great Ball if this doesn't work. Oh my god. That actually broke immediately. Alright, well then, we'll try, uh, try the Great Ball now. I only have four now. Also, I noticed that the graphic is blue now, Daba D. Really? I'm not weakening this onyx any lower than it is right now. It's in the red. Come on now. Really? This is my fifth one. We're d really, right now. We're down to one Pokeball. This is a great ball, too, so... Please work. Come on. <laughs> Alright, Onyx, you're dying. You're, you're dead. You just, you just, you just committed suicide. In a way. But not getting into the ball, so, there. What's my dog barking at? Hold on a moment. Alright, um, I'm back. Uh, my dog is barking for some reason. There's nothing there, though. Well, rip my Pokeballs! This is... not... good. Should I go back to get some? Or should I just go down? I don't know. Um... No, 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 we need more Pokeballs. I'll go back. Level 11 for Clockwork. Alright, I'm gonna actually, uh... Oh. Oh, you know what? I want that move. Can't learn more than four moves. That's the first time we have this message coming up. Wait, what did I just do? You've got to be kidding me right now. The prompt... I pressed A on the prompt as soon as it po How many frames was that? 
Okay. Okay. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. Very, 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 very dumb. And I'm mad. <sighs> Waste of... I want to see your move list now. I mean, I know Taggle sucks, but at the same time, you kind of both... Well, I don't know, actually. How strong of a move are we talking about when it comes... No. <sighs> Didn't mean to press that. Um, let me just check this. Does 35. Tackle does 35 as well, so I guess... I guess this is better than Tackle, yes, but at the same time, like... I kind of want Tackle over Growl. Like, really, right now? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to find... Okay, I know there's, there's a healing center over here. There's no Pokemon here. I have to go all the way to the city up there. Are you serious? I have to go to this... <coughs> That's gonna be a long walk. I'll do it. I'll do it to it. Okay, that was a... That was a long way up. Okay, we got a lot Let's see here. Hopefully we can catch an Onyx with all these Pokeballs that we're buying. I don't know if I'm gonna go over the top of that much, though. But at the same time, I want some on me. I'll buy two potions as well. Actually... What do I have that I can sell, perhaps? No, those are... that's not gonna work. Um... That's not worth much. This? No. Not much to sell. Alright. Well, I don't want to buy anything. I'm done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'll go back to that cave now. Alright. We've caught up to this part. I'm gonna actually now explore this area. Not really sure what to expect here, though. Oh my goodness. More encounters, maybe that's what I should have expected. And it's all the same stuff too, I bet. Okay, oh, level 9 is actually higher than what it was up there. Hmm, we're going places. Okay. This could be a good experience then. For the whole party. Oh boy, the supersonic. Okay. Well, it's a chance now that we will hit each other. Uh, hit each other, hit myself. <laughs> Alright, yeah, by the way, remember when I said my my dog was barking earlier in the episode, and I said that I had no clue what he was barking at, because no one happened to be there? It turns out, I have been booed. In case you don't know what that means, uh, right now, the day I'm recording this is October 8th, and it's like close to Halloween and whatnot. Um, what people will do if you don't know what this means, um, they will just, uh, di uh, ding dong ditch you, like, they'll just knock on your door and run, but they'll leave behind goodies, like, and it's always the most, like, random things ever. I'll just read what this note says. You have been booed. The air is cool, the season is fall, soon Halloween will come to all, with ghosts and goblins, spooks galore, trick-or-treaters at your door. The spooks are after things to do, in fact, the spook brought this to you. The treats that come with this short note are yours to keep. Enjoy them both. Okay, those don't rhyme. That does not even rhyme. Excitement grows when friends like you will copy it and make it too. Neighbors will have smiling faces. None can guess who booed which places. A day or two... A day or two to work your spell, but keep it secret, hide it well. Join the fun, the season's here, so spread these boos and share the cheer. Please keep the boo going by following these directions. Enjoy your treat. Place the boo sign on your front door or a visible front window. Oh, I took it with me. I'm not even paying attention to the game, by the way. And also, I am somehow losing to... Tamal! Come on now, you're better than this. This is a freaking Zubat. Okay, good. Within the next few days, make co make two copies of this note, place two more. Oh boy. Make two treat bags or boo baskets. Secretly deliver two neighbors with a boo. Keep an eye on the nearby front doors to see how far and fast it spreads by Halloween. Okay. <laughs> and Tem is now level 12. Yeah, that's an actual thing if you've never heard of it. This is, this is something that happens in my town. 
you just get ding dong ditched. Oh, actually, uh, look at what I have. This this is the most sloppy scrap paper I've ever seen. This is just paper that I can just write on. It's also like slightly wet for some reason. There's also which is not a type of food. Colon skink, assassin, bubble and squeak, and faluda. I don't even know what that means. Uh, there's smiley face keychains. And then there's just generic candy in here. It looks like I got Starburst, Lifesavers, Bazooka Bubblegum. Why is there a ra There's a wrapper of a Bazooka Bubblegum in here. What the crap? What is going on here? Oh my god. Let's pay attention to this game. Goodness. Oh, hello. I'm glad I came down here. What is this? I'm looking in the bag. Hold on a minute. Swift, an attack that never misses. Huh, interesting, okay. It does 60 damage, if I, if that's accurate. Oh, looks like I can surf here. I was gonna actually, I just looked up my bag and noticed that I had my, uh, my rod. Can I use it? What is this? Oh, select? Register the old rod. What does it do? Wait, what's the, uh, button I press? What do I... That's not that one. Is it the B button? No? Ah, pressing select does it. Oh, a bite. We got something. It's a Goldeen! I sounded very excited about this Goldeen. Alright, well, now that I actually have Pokeballs, I guess we can catch this one. This one's level 10, my goodness. Hey, Goldeen, have you heard I got booed? Okay, I guess you don't care. Alright, uh, don't hit yourself with those spikes of yours, Beedrill. I'm still, I am still upset that I did not name this thing. I don't know if we're gonna, we might name this thing if I can figure out where a name raider is. If if, it, if there is one in this game, I don't know if there is. Oh, do I want to... Nah, I'm going to go for more damage here. Or I could just hit myself. Ugh! That damage... No, we're, we're, not, we're not hitting each other. Okay. Huh. You know what? Just I just want to see something. Can I somehow knock this thing out? If not, then I'll be... It'll probably be low. Because this thing does seem rather tanky. Okay, never mind. I did knock it out. Okay, that was a dumb idea. I wanted to catch it! Oh, Beedrill is now level 11. Awesome. Alright, that was not a whole lot of experience. I want to try that again. I want to see if I can get myself a... Huh. Okay, the mechanic in fishing is a little weird. It just says, oh, a bite, and then it works. Oh, Magikarp. Magikarp, alright. Um... We'll try to catch this one, I guess. All I can do is splash. I'll probably- I'm not- I'm not gonna use this thing, even if I do catch it as much as I like Gyarados a lot. I actually have never used a Gyarados in a single player adventure, yet I still like it a lot. I use it in multiplayer, online, on my, uh, 3D, well, my 3DS, I am on my 3DS, on my, uh, newer games, because, you know, Wi-Fi is fun. It's also pretty powerful, using Dragon Dance and whatnot. Alright, besides the point, let's just catch this Magikarp. This should be a catch. I knew it. Magikarps are just the easiest thing to catch, ever. Uh... For no reason, it jumps and splashes about, making it easy for predators like Pidgeotto to catch it mid-jump. The problem is, Pidgeotos don't live in caves, so this Pokedex entry is deemed wrong already. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I'm literally going to give this a joke name because I don't want to use it. 
No proof. You got no proof, Magikarp, that you are a very powerful Pokemon after you evolve until I see it. Because you only splash. And then I get proven wrong already. Yeah, I, I know, I'm, I know. I am aware that it does evolve into something good. I'm just making fun of it as it is. And then when it evolves, it will uh, bite my face off. Yeah, after I fold it, bullied it. Ugh. Oh my goodness, I'm having a tough time speaking. That poem really took the energy out of my voice that I read. I don't know if I'm actually gonna boo, boo someone. That's something I have never, I've never done that before. I've always been booed. I just didn't know that, I was not aware of the detail that you had to follow up with it by making a copy of it. Why did I pick Growl? <laughs> I did not mean to pick Growl, I meant to pick Peck. Oh my god. Face Palm. Oh my goodness. And I'm still taking a ton of damage somehow. <sighs> there. Can we just kill this thing now, please? Man, that tackle still does so much, even after growling it. Oh. Okay. Please knock it out here. No. Alright, well then I'm not staying in, because I'm so dead next turn. Here, Batty. You need, you need to be higher level, Batty, for sure. Are you serious right now? This... <sighs> Damn it. Damn it! Alright. Okay, I gotta send out Jawsome on this one. This Rattata right here is not messing around. And then it does like three damage to Jawsome. Oh my goodness. Alright. Everyone but Batty. Oh well. Okay, so I guess really the only thing I missed down here was a uh, TM and a place to go fishing. I didn't catch that Goldeen, but uh, well, we've seen it. Now it's in our decks. Oh, hello. There's an item down here that I didn't see. What? Okay. <coughs> Alright. That wasn't funny at all. Does no one get- wait, what just happens? <laughs> the battle ends, no one gets experience. Wow. Oh my god. Awakening. Awesome. It was not a revive, but whatever, I'll take it. My god. Oh, I'm going the- where did I even- Huh? Where do I- Oh, it's this way, okay. I almost lost myself there. There we go. <sighs> Please tell me there's a Poke Center around here somewhere. Um... Is there? Yes, there is! Oh, the Pokemon was right here. So I didn't need to walk back all the way. I could've just, uh, went to the next city and then... Yeah... I'll be pissed off if I notice that this Pokemon right here has better items than the one that I was just at. It does! Are you- what the heck is this? Yeah, no kidding, this, this shop does have way better items. Charcoal! Powers of fire type moves, okay, uh, I'm never gonna get that if it's gonna cost that much. Well, we finally made it to this city, uh, that took a while. Jeez. I need a heal. I have two knocked out Pokemon. And then after this, we're just gonna probably look around the city while we're at it. There was a guy there I wanted to talk to, but that guy looked kinda suspicious looking. Not gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the guy that booed me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Okay, what do you have to say? Bill's PC can store up to 20 Pokemon per box. Cool, and that's a good fun fact for me to know. 
Do your Pokemon know HM moves? Those moves can be used even if your Pokemon has fainted. Good to know. I guess there's gonna be an HM coming up that is rather important. Do you know about Apricorns? Oh. Crack one open, hollow it out, and fit it with a special device. Then you can catch Pokemon with it. Before Pokeballs were invented, everyone used Apricorns. Oh, alright. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should change my party right now. Let me look at my... Alright, I'm gonna put Murr back in the party, now that we made it here. Also, uh... Batty needs experience, because I am waiting for it to get a, a much powerful move. Actually... Do I want to give it... I think this Zubat can learn Swift. Do I want to do that? I'll hold on to Swift for now. Alright. Okay, let's talk to people around here. Did you come to take... Did you come to get Kurt to make some balls? A lot of people just do that. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like an innuendo. Not gonna lie. The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. Oh, that sucks. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Funny, I just talked to a guy who tried to rip me off for one million dollars. I gotta stop that right now. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to guys in here. There's still great ball here. Pokeballs will have to do. I wish Kurt would make some of his custom balls. Everyone, huh. A great ball is better for catching Pokemon than a Pokeball. Gee, I didn't know that. But Kurt, how many people here know Kurt? Kurt is famous, apparently. Let me actually figure this, where did they talk to you? Yeah, I did, okay. We heard you, you, you got, you, the Slowpoke are uh, becoming an endangered species from this town. All the slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The forest protector may be angry with us. It may be bad. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. What does that mean? Where have all the slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? Um. No. No, they're not. Did you come to get Kurt to make some balls? I talked to you already. Is this it? No, this is not it. This is a. Uh, Zillia Town Pokemon Gym Leader Bugsy, the Walking Bug Pokemon Encyclopedia. What are you doing? Do you know about Slow? Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Uh, no, it's not. Aren't you glad I told you that? What is going on here? People cutting off tails of Slowpoke. Do they? I wonder if like, what is a Slowpoke supposed to be like? Because it might, it might be some sort of creature that just gets a... It's probably some sort of marine creature that has body functions that make it so that they grow back, but I don't know. Alright, anyways. Cut through his area, and you'll be in Ilex Forest. But these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. These skinny trees? What about the fat trees? The Charcoal Man's Pokemon can cut down trees. The Charcoal Man? Who's the Charcoal Man? What's in here? Ilex Forest is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of it. Wait. Oh, stay out of mischief. Yeah. Is this the forest? Oh, I got a call from Liz the Picnicker. Good evening, Alex. This is Liz. Were you awake? I dressed up my Nidoran female. You... What? What did you do to it? It looks cuter than before. You have to hear this. I battled Wooper the other day. It was easy. I had a type advantage. Bye bye. And we, and of course, our character can't talk back because that's what Pokemon games are all about. You just can't say a word. And you can, and even if you have no way of talking, you can become the champion. All right. A bit of a spoilers, but at the same time, if you are watching this right now, I bet you already know much about this game as I do. All right. What's this guy's deal? It's unsafe to go there, so I'm standing on guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? Maybe. I also want to check this area once more. 
Oh, this guy is a trainer. I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. Alright. Are you I guessing you're the hiker type? Yeah, you are. The hiker type. Hiker Anthony has a Geodude. Alright, well that's not going to be hard at all. Why? Because... Jawsome is known for shooting water at these rocks. Uh oh, oh my goodness, rock throw. Alright, we got ourselves a tougher Geodude already. Also, level 11. I did not notice that at first. And it one shots. That's great. Level 10 for Batty. Jawsome with the 100 experience there. Gross to level 16. A Machop. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll change here. Um, hmm. I think Beedrill is the best shot here. These things are part fighting type. Also, these things are purple, not brown. Oh, whatever. Hmm, that wasn't that much. Low kick. You can't kick a bee. Okay, this thing is just gonna keep kicking me. I'm just gonna resist it and then try to whittle it down, but not if my attack misses. Get in as many hits as you can with this, please. Ah, critical. Hit four times. Low kick. Okay, this... This Machop only has low kick. <sighs> By a sliver! Of course. Two hundred seven. That's really good. Whoa, boy! You've got more zip. Actually, I have buzz. More like a buzz. Oh, hello, mom. Hi, Alex. How are you? I found a useful item shopping. I bought it with your money. Sorry. What'd you do? You're taking money from me? It's in your PC. You'll like it. Okay. She cares about me because she puts it in the PC and she says I will like it. Well, I will definitely like it once I see it. Um, there's patches of grass here that I should pro I might want to look in here. See if there's anything interesting in here. Just, there's nothing interesting about a Zubat anymore. Come on now. Get out of here. I, I would be knocking it out, but right now I'm just desperate for finding something in here right now. I should really start playing more during the day, though, to be honest. I feel like that's why all these Zubats are just showing up now. Uh, Zubat, get away. I guess it's gonna be another Zubat. No, Matata. <laughs> Alright, three. I'll just defeat this one and then just uh, go back to the city. Alright, I gotta say, the music in this city is actually pretty nice. Okay, let's see here. Oh, hold, wait a minute. I didn't see this book here. It's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey! It's Wood Apricorn! I'm, I'm assuming that it's abbreviated as White Apricorn? I actually yeah, don't know much about Apricorns, to be honest. Hmm, who are you? Alex, eh? You want to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off slow poke tails for sale. Oh, I'm sorry, there's an exclam exclamation point right there. Cutting off slow poke tails for sale! So I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Or, hang on, Slowpoke. 
Old Kurt is onto his way. That's Kurt. Who are you? Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Alright. I should have talked to you first. I wonder what she would have said then. So that is Kurt. And I guess... He went to the well. I guess that's where I'm going to have to go. But... Love's episode is getting long. I'm going to have to stop here right now. Now's a good time to stop. I'm just going to heal my Pokemon. And then in the next one, we'll check out that well. And then uh, confront Team Rocket and have them stop cutting off the tails of innocent Slowpokes. Who does that anyway? That's so That's so cruel for... A kid's game, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright. See you in the next episode.